Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another prediction video. This video is going to be a prediction video for the Dangerous Woman Tour movie. Um, my last video got such a good response and I figured you guys might want to see another one. So I was thinking and I figured this would be a good idea because we don't know if it's actually coming out. We don't know like what's up with it. So I'm just going to be giving you guys my feelings and my hopes and dreams for this movie if it ever happens. So yeah, I thought this would be a great idea because we're all wondering if it's actually going to come out. So I just wanted to share my thoughts and feelings. So we're just going to get right into it. Let's go. Okay, so the main thing that I am really hoping for, which is obviously going to happen because this is the main point of the video, but concert footage. And this concert footage, I've heard that it would be coming from like Japan or something because when this first was like announced or the rumor was happening, um, somehow, I don't remember how, but like someone said the footage for this movie was filmed while she was in Japan. I think it was Japan. Or maybe it was South Korea. I really don't remember where it was filmed. But I remember seeing a tweet or something saying that um, she was filming for a movie. And it was like apparently this movie. So I think it's coming from like another country. So I don't really know where it's coming from. But obviously we want to see concert footage. Um, I have notes written down so that's what I'm looking at if you see me looking down. But obviously concert footage. And I want like it would be really cool if the video was like each song like obviously it probably will be but I'm just saying like in order of the concert so it's like if I want to like obviously I remember this concert but like I want to be able to watch the movie and then be like that's what I saw like even though it wasn't my concert like that's what I saw like that was the show that I saw so I really hope that if this is happening the um footage will be in order of the show um but then also I'm hoping for some behind the scenes um, I know, like, other people have done tour videos before, like, tour movies, and they give a lot of behind the scenes. I have the little mix one. I don't, I haven't watched it yet because I don't have a DVD player in my room. Um, but then, this is really dumb, but, like, Hannah Montana, me and my sister have the Hannah Montana one, um, the movie she made about her tour, which is, like, 10, probably 10, 12 years ago, but she has a lot of behind the scenes and, like, um backstage footage and stuff and I just think that would be really cool to see because like we see the show but like I want to be able to see what goes into putting the show on like I feel like um knowing like how she feels before she goes on stage what she does while she's waiting to go on stage like her interactions with the people she's on tour with like I feel like that would just be a really fun thing to see and like um okay so I'm kind of getting into another idea so I'm just kind of moving along but, like I said, footage from different shows. Um, so footage from different shows, I feel like, um, I know most of it was probably filmed in another country, but I'm just saying, like, it would be cool if the movie, like, each tour stop, well, I guess this would kind of be hard to do because there was more concerts than there was songs on the set list. I was gonna say, have, like, um, uh song like a song that she performed from every concert she was on but obviously that would be like impossible because there was like I don't even know how many tour stops there were but there wasn't 20 or how many how many songs she had in her show I don't remember um but that was just an idea like I don't know that's probably not gonna happen but then okay so side of Ariana we haven't seen before I think that would be so fun to see like how she is like I love seeing behind the scenes of like my favorite artists and like my idols because like, it's just, like, a part of them that's, like, normal. Like, it's not that they're not normal, but obviously we only see her, like, that's on the concerts and, like, on TV performing. And I know she does live streams and stuff, or she used to. But I think it would be just so much fun to see, like, a different side of Ariana in terms of, like, um, what she does. Like, like, I don't like to say normal because it's not like she's not normal, but you know what I'm saying. Like, footage that makes her like me and you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, hanging out with her family, hanging out with her dogs, like, what she does on her downtime. I just love seeing that stuff about, like, my favorite people because it just makes you feel more connected and it's just so much fun. And especially me being an entertainment manager, management major, entertainment management major, I think that would be so much fun to see because when I, like, if I want to work in this field, I think it's really important for me to see, like, 
um, not just the side of them that's on stage. Because obviously, if I want to be an entertainment um, management major, I'm going to be working with these people, um, like, behind the scenes, like, all the time. So, that's why I want to be, like, I don't know, it's just so much fun to see. I don't know, like, how else to explain it, but it would just be so much fun to see. I love watching that kind of stuff. And also, I keep rambling on about this, but, like, it would also be really fun to have, because, like, obviously, Ariana's going to get older, and, like, to have, like, a video of that, like, at this age, like, when she was 23, I think that would just be so much fun. Um, so, yeah. Then I put raw footage, like, footage that's, like, not, it kind of seeps into the one I just was talking about, but raw footage in terms of, like, uncut stuff and, like, her just being random and her just, like, playing pranks and, like, fooling around with the dancers and Brian and Scott. I really want Brian and Scott to be in this video, just saying, and I want Frankie to be in this video, just saying. Um... One of the main things I really am hoping for this video is to have footage of behind the scenes of One Love Manchester and also just like her thoughts of Manchester because I feel like obviously that was like a huge thing that happened to her on this concert and I feel like it would almost be incomplete if she didn't mention something about that because that concert like changed the or that this event changed the whole entire course of this tour like she wasn't sure if she wanted to continue, she wasn't sure if she could do it, but she ended up doing it and then some. Like, she put on an entire concert, a benefit concert, raised millions of dollars, and then she continued and finished her tour. Like, I just feel like without mentioning that, it would just be totally incomplete. So I really hope that there is something for Manchester in this video. Um... If anything, like, I don't even know. Obviously, she probably, I can guarantee she was not filming the days after it happened because obviously we know that she was, like, total, like, just obviously, like, the natural response, like, because she's a human being. But, like, I just feel like it would be really fun, or not fun, that's the wrong word. It would be really, like, I don't know. It would just be really, like, good. I don't know a, a word. Like, give me some adjectives. <laughs> it would be really good to see what went on, like, during that. I don't, not during it. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying, okay? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I wrote long. I want it to be long. I want it to be like two or three hours, but that's just me. Um, I just love this kind of stuff. I just want it to be really long. Um, then I wrote choreography. Um, so I used to be a dancer. I don't want to be a dancer anymore, but I used to be a dancer. And I just love watching other people dance, and I love choreography, and I just love all that kind of stuff. So I think it would be really fun to see her learning choreography, like going over the dances, like in the dance studio. Like, I just love that kind of stuff. Um, then the last thing I have is similar to Honeymoon Tour uh, Diaries, or the Honeymoon Diaries. I feel like that's what this video should be based off of. Not the Honeymoon Tour, but I feel like that's what it should look like, the Honeymoon Diaries. Because, oh my god, like, I'll be honest, Honeymoon Diaries were, like, my thing. Like, I freaking loved the Honeymoon Diaries. They were, like, my life. Like, I love watching them. It's just a side of Ariana that you don't see, and that's, again, what I wrote on this paper. That's, like, what I'm hoping for for the Dangerous Woman Tour is to see a side of Ariana that we haven't seen before. And I feel like something like the Honeymoon Diaries that would really, like, make it look like that. Like, I just feel like because the Honeymoon Diaries were so uncut and so random and, like, it, they were just so much fun to watch, so I really hope that's what it would look like. But anyways, those are my thoughts and feelings on this movie. Again, I don't know if it's actually happening. I don't know if it's actually coming out. But, like, those are my thoughts and feelings of, like, what it should be like. Because, like, I know everybody's, like, wondering if it's actually coming out. And I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys my thoughts and feelings about it and my hopes and dreams. Um... But yeah, those are what I hope to see in the movie if it comes out. So if you guys want to tell me what you guys want to see, comment down below and tell me. Or if you guys were thinking the same thing, let me know about that too. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for the incredible response on my last video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.